Um, I'm just um, wanted to give you a little update about what's going on in my life. Um, I have been working on the 100 day project, continuing on that. And if you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, you would see some of the uh, pieces I've been doing and I'm trying to put some progress videos and also trying to upload some of the, um, the videos of the work in progress on my YouTube. So um, I just wanted to give you a little update about where I'm at and what's going on in my life and what's what I'm doing for you. So here I am and I put some makeup on today. So I was excited to actually do a video because a few of them I haven't put makeup on and I'm like, oh dear Darcy, you got to put your makeup on. So anyway, <laughs> um, so last time we talked or last time I was on, I uh, showed you some of my 100 day project pieces. And when I looked at the videos after, I noticed that um, the, cellophane the cellophane bags that I uh, store them in, it was hard to see the pieces. So I just want to make sure that, I'm just checking the, I just wanted to um, take them out of the bags this time so you can see them better. So this is the one I show. This was a day 11 and day 12. And when I showed you last time, um, there weren't any beads. So I've added the beads to it. So that's Pete. This is piece number 10. Um, that's all finished. And um, I wondered how I would do with this. I like some people tell me when they do 100 day projects, they get uh, frustrated and it becomes um, labor intensive and they don't like it. But honestly, I really I'm really enjoying it and I'm trying not to put pressure on myself if I don't have time one day to work on and finish a piece it's okay some of some of the pieces i'm doing handwork so it might take a few days and that's okay so i'm kind of trying to work a little bit on one and then maybe i switch to another but i'm still trying to finish those pieces that i start unless i feel like it's been an experiment and it's uh, not a successful experiment which happens to everyone um i'm trying to be honest and forthright about it all so um i want you to see that I'm things don't come to my mind and then they work out beautifully that doesn't work all the time um, I think I showed a piece um, probably a, a couple weeks ago now it was a brown piece and I had put slashes in it and then I threw it in the washing machine I was hoping it would be beautiful it I don't know where it is right now or I'd show it but it it was uh, a bad experiment so I think I have to try again and do it again it was a labor intensive piece and I didn't I didn't feel like it was successful at all so um, but I'll show you the ones that I do have finished here so this one I'm super happy with I've always wanted to do Van Gogh's Starry Night and um, all of these ideas I have in my mind are for big pieces but I can't do it all so it's been fun to actually Think of the pieces that I've wanted to do in the past and make small ones and, and have fun with it. So this is uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's in focus for you. And this was one I, one I started and I actually finished it the same day because I was super happy with how it was going. So um, this is day 15, number 11. And then I went away to see Bryn, my daughter, in Montreal with my husband, and um, I took some handwork with me. I didn't get a lot done. Um, the way back, it was super, super snowy and a very stressful drive, so I was um, worried and nervous, so I didn't get a lot of handwork done. But I did work on this one on the way. This is the Under the Sea piece, so that has got a lot of pieces in it that, um, like this rickrack on the side, I think I had added that on the trip and there's netting from an avocado bag there's some painted cheesecloth there's uh, this paint our hand dyed doily and you'll see that in a few of my pieces I love that color it's like a coral color and this is ribbons that I just twisted this is a uh, sari uh, sari silk but it's just the threads out of a sari silk so it's all threads and this is a uh, crazy yarn that I bought at the dollar store one time and I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it's very fuzzy. Um, and then I added some beads and some other really pretty uh, sparkly yarn and it's got some gold in, in amongst it. And then I did a little bit of beading. I may have showed this one before, I'm not sure. 
Oh, sorry, I thought it stopped, but we're good. So that's that one. Um, and this one I showed, I had started, and I worked on this at school when I was teaching one day. There was an intern in, so I did get a little extra free time um, on my breaks to work on it. So I added these, and if you can see, I actually had to burn the edges of this upholstery fabric because it frayed. And then I added some beads and um, some simple stitches and then these cute little ferns to go with the fabric that had the ferns on it. Oh, and then I went around that leaf too. So that took me a few days. 13, day 13, 20, and 27. <laughs> Number 13. Um, and I think that's almost it. And then I, I started this one Thursday night, I think, maybe. I haven't finished it yet, but I did the the background, stitched it, and I added the raven. I tried to draw it myself, but I ended up uh, getting a, a copyright-free photo and making it smaller. So uh, I traced that on, and I'm, I'm going to add the legs and put a branch or maybe a fence post and do some stitching in, like, purple threads. You know how ravens have that shiny uh, color, so maybe some different colored threads to make the uh, feathers and such. So that one is about half finished. I might finish this one today. Uh, hi, after I had finished that video, I realized I missed three pieces or I missed two pieces. So I wanted to add them in here. So um, this was, is the Raven finished. I just finished it today. Um, not super, super happy with this one. I do like the fence post. Um, the purple, I don't know. Does it look like a Raven? Let me know. I'm not sure. Um, and I trimmed it with uh, some yarn too because I felt it needed a finish. And then this one, this is one of my favorite pieces. I can't believe I forgot about it. Um, so that's more of that uh, doily. And then there's some 3D flowers, poppies, and uh, some more hand-dyed fabric, some organza. And this is... Um, satiny fabric and this is from a shirt that I got uh, that I thrifted so there's that one that's day 15 and I have one more to show you before I go back to the old video that <laughs> you can notice I'm wearing different clothes and this is um, this is number 14 day 28 and 30 so I was playing around with um, an embellisher. My daughter had, was into felting. Um, she's too busy now, of course, but uh, we had an old sewing machine switched over to um, felt um, fabrics. Brady had done it for her um, for Christmas. And um, so I've had it put away. She barely used it and it's been under my table and I was watching a video of someone doing some embellishing and I, I said, I got to dig that out again. So it's now dug out. It's right under my main sewing desk, so I'm hoping to use it a little more. But that's what this is. All of the stuff was embellished. And then at the end, I stitched on the um, lace waves. And I put some beads on and this little bit of lace. So I'll put you back to the other video to show the last piece that I made and uh, talk a little bit about some other things that I'm doing. And then this one is the one I did yesterday. And this is like a chenille and I'm putting it on a piece that I'm working on right now. Um, and I wanted to test and see if I could sew it down. And I did, I actually ended up having to melt the edges on this one a little bit too. And there's some gray marker to add the shading. And then there's, uh, this is all done by machine. Get in a little closer. If you want to see these ones better, you can see them on my Instagram and my Facebook too. And there's some sparkly beads. This is summer rain. Summer rain. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so the big piece that I'm working on right now, it's, um, I am part of a group, it's called Studio Art Quilt Associates. And if you're an art quilter, you know about this, this um, group. It's worldwide. There's, um, I'd say around 4,000 people in this group and it's been super helpful in um, pushing my art forward. They've been very supportive. There's lots of courses and, and uh, different um, seminars that they do. 
Um, there's special interest groups. So I have one that I'm part of that I do uh, long arm work, long arm work. So I'm part of this group and there's also a regional group that I'm one of the co-reps and um, there's an exhibition that we're working on right now. There's going to be a, there's a call for entry out right now and it's called navigating. So basically when there's a call for entry, you have to work to that theme and create something to that theme. So I decided navigating, I changed, I didn't know what I was going to do. Sometimes I have trouble working to a theme. Um, but, um, so I had a few ideas. I came up with this one. So this is, um, a photo of my kids when we were in Newfoundland a couple of years ago. And I thought navigating would work well for that because as a family, we have tried to, um, continue to take vacations together even though we don't see the kids very often um, they're busy with their schoolwork and such um, we want to do a trip with them um, every year every other year so a couple years ago we did Newfoundland and we went to Gross Morn so that's a picture from Gross Morn so we're navigating life together and um, I wanted to um, talk about our travels and and um, so that's what I decided to do. So it will be along that theme, but it's something I've been trying to put more figures in my work. Um, if you saw my kayaking one, um, I've uh, been trying to put more people. So I want to add the kids to, in this one too, and lots of flowers. So I'm actually working on the sky right now. I will show you what it looks like so far. Um, there's not a lot done to it, but um, I'm excited to get going on it. I just have other things that I have to do, um, income tax, yay, and that kind of stuff. So, but I'll show you. I'm just gonna pause for a moment so I don't bump you around here. So just a sec. Okay, here's my pattern. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I got a phone call and I had to pause there. So I'm back now. Um, so this is the pattern. I try to do it a different way this time. As you can see, the squares. I don't know. Um, this is how I learned in probably school um, to do the squares. So I did the squares on the photo and the squares on this. Um, usually I blow up the picture, but I just wanted to try something different. I was trying to be more free and uh, maybe not make it exact, but I don't know why, but I always want it to look exactly like the photo or, or as close as possible that I can do. So, so that's my, and I, this is something new too. I'm working on it right on the long arm. Um, there's an artist and her name is Phyllis Cullen and she's part of my uh, long arm group and she, this is how she works and she just uses a ladder to step up on as she's working away. So I'm trying it this time. I don't know if this is something I'll continue. Usually I do it on a wall and work at it there, but I'm trying it to see if I like it doing it because it saves a step um, if I have it right on my machine. I've had to cut some holes out of the clouds here and that's been a little bit of a struggle um, but I, and I haven't glued anything down yet and I, I think I will have to. She doesn't, but I think I will just to hold things in place and I just use, I think I have a video on this, but I just use this micro tip um, that I got from a friend and there's white glue in here and um, I just use that to go along the edges instead of using fusing because fusing is expensive and fusing is also um, it get it gums up your needle sometimes so um, I find this works really well and it actually keeps the pieces a little looser so um, I think that looks like a little nicer it makes them puffier so this is the she nail that I was talking about that I did for the 100 day challenge. So I wanted to test and make sure I could sew around it before I added it on. I did have another upholstery fabric. I'm trying to play with more fabrics than cotton in my big pieces and I hadn't done a lot of that up until now. So that's what I'm trying to move into. So here's what I have so far and I'll show you the picture again to compare it. So I'm still in the midst of adding the clouds. I really want to work on this today, but I have other things that I have to work on. But I always try to at least spend a half an hour um, on my big pieces a day. So it's been working quite well. Um, so, yeah. So that's it. Um, I will here. So, um, 
yeah, that's what's going on in my life. Oh, and also I did mention the um, Seascapes course. I'm continuing to work on that. And I also have a couple of other courses that I'm going to be teaching locally if you are local. And um, the Seascapes one will be hopefully an online course too. Um, let me know if there's a course you want me to teach. I'm, I'm want to, I want to teach what you want to learn. So if there's something that is really, um, something that you want to learn, let me know. And, um, we can talk about it and maybe it's something I could do in the future. Uh, what else? Oh yes, there's, um, May 18th and 19th. I'll be teaching my mosaics. Um, I'll actually show you what I'll be teaching. I'm going to turn around here again. Oh, I have a messy studio, so be, um, here's one of them. So this is my mosaics that I do. I've done many pieces. So this is going to be a two day course in Fredericton here in Fredericton. And the first day you're going to do one of these pieces. The next day you're going to work on your own piece. So you're going to design your own simple landscape and do it. So, uh, oh, here's another one here behind me. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. <laughs> this is the Hopewell Rocks. So that's a local landmark in Hopewell Cape. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be teaching that May 18th and 19th at the craft school. And also in July, I'm doing the Intuitive Ski Seascapes, which is, I think it's the week of July 6th, so Monday to Friday around that date. And I'm also teaching um, at RB Studio and Gallery. I'll be teaching my flower course. So I have patterns online for flowers. There's four different flowers. So you'll be able to choose the flower that you want, either daisies, lily of the valley, poppies, or tulips. And you'll make that um, one, whichever one you choose. I'll show you how to do both of the backgrounds that um, come along with that pattern. And, um, yeah, you can check them out online. What's the date of that one? It's the last week of April. So we're going away to Portugal. Yay! In April. And the weekend after I get back, um, I'll be teaching that course. So if you have any questions, please reach out. And please um, like and subscribe. And let me know. Please tell me in the comments what you're thinking. If you have a course in mind that you'd want me to do or a pattern. That reminds me, I do have a new pattern that I'm going to show you. And it's under all the stuff that I was, so I'm going to move everything out of the way here. <laughs> Gently, so I can show you. Oh, I can lift that right off, I think. Here we go. Ta-da! I don't know if you've seen this apple blossoms piece. So I'm going to be teaching that. So I'm redesigning it to put on the um the mats that i do my other slow stitched pieces so this is the start of it it's all going to be hand stitched but of course you can also do it on the sewing machine if you'd rather do that and i will be selling kits so once it's done i sell mats as well so if you want to have it matted you could even put it on just a mat board or put it in a, a frame that you buy you don't have to do that you don't have to buy the mat so this is the beginnings of it. So that should be out in the next month, hopefully, um, if I get other things done that I need to do. Um, yeah, so please reach out. Please leave a comment. Um, I want to know if I'm just wasting my time talk talking to myself um, because I want to get more involved in teaching people and sharing my creativity and hoping to help you make, be more creative. Um, I hope I'm doing that. So please reach out, please comment below and let me know what you're thinking and uh, even just to say hi. So we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.